welcome back uh, to this series where we are learning about OpenAI, API, and Langchain. And if you are watching this for the first time, I strongly recommend that go to the part one for further uh, clarification. And that being said, let's get started. Here we uh, bring in all the necessary objects and methods and helpers from our Langchain library. This .env is actually uh, through this method, .config method, this is actually loading up the information from .env, uh, and this is the example. Now, this is the class Langchain intro, and in this constructor, we are actually instantiating the model, and this OpenAI model is coming from right here, Langchain LLM OpenAI. And that being said, let's go all right so let's look at prompt template multi-chain this time what's happening here i mean it may look scary but it's pretty simple we are taking in one string from the user for example here let's say if we call this method and provide it with uh, a country name called japan so all i have to do is just send a country name and then uh, let's say, uh, think about a situation where you're building a, an assistant bot, which helps uh, users with tourism, right? It uh, answers questions like, uh, you know, what could be uh, a, fun th a few fun things to do in, in a certain city? So we're going to accomplish that in multi-steps here. Only input we're going to take from the user is the country. And then we're going to create the first prompt template saying, what is the most popular city in the country, that variable, or tourist, and just return the name of the city. So we're clearly telling it just once, you know, once you find the country and find the popular city and return nothing but the city. So we can use that city name in our next prompt as a variable. So in here, we just, once we have our template and then we turn it into a prompt template, just like before input variable and template first template coming in and this time we're going to create chain one with llm chain and this time we provide our model this dot model which is this guy right here once again and then the first template you know sorry the first prompt is the prompt here right so now our chain one is built it's ready to go so next one is the second template here we are asking the ai what are the top three things to do in city? Now, remember, this city comes from this you know, chain before, beforehand as a variable because we just asked it to return the city. So this city as a variable for tourists and just return the answer as three bullet points and display the city name, the city, basically city name in all, in all uppercase above your list. So that we know what city we're, we know the AI is talking about, right? So now this second template, now we turn into a prompt using prompt template. And here we're giving it variable the city and calling in the template, the second template. And once we are done, we're putting it through the same LLM chain with the model and the second prompt. So now we have chain number two. Here comes the third and the last step. We're going to combine the two into one overall chain using simple sequential chain. This library, once again, coming from exactly where LLM chain came from, uh, which is Langchain chains, right? So now that we have our chain one and chain two, we use this class, simple sub, you know, uh, sequential chain, and it takes a whole bunch of chains and chain array. So chain one, chain two, you can have up to, you know, whatever, 10, 12 chain, whatever necessary. And also one argument is uh, verbose. I mean, I'm going to keep it as false right now, but I'll show you what it does later on. So now we have an overall chain. So this time we're going to run the chain using the run method and get the answer or the return or the response and put it in this variable, final answer, and then console log the final answer, right? And in here, finally, we are receiving the user country. 
Remember that variable, the first user input? Think of it like a, a drop down menu. The, the user is choosing in a web application for tourism and uh, they want to find out fun things to do in some country they, you know, they don't not that familiar with, but they just, you know, want to know the popular city and uh, some activities, right? The only thing they're going to choose from the drop down is the country. And that country we're going to pass along and push it through the overall chain and get an answer. So let's go back here and enable this guy. So we already have our object ready and our method name is prompt template multi chain. And we're going to provide it with uh, a country called Japan, right? So let's and let me see. Let's save it and see what situation we're at. OK, um, our node one is still observing. Let's see what it does. Boom, there you go. Japan, the city name is Tokyo, and all the fun things you can do in three uh, in bullet points, right? Let's just change it to, let's say, Canada. Save it, and let's go. Oh, there you go. The city is Toronto, and whatever you can do there. One shot, one input, and massive outcome. And that's the point of the whole uh, multi-chain templating. Thanks for watching.